Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about a handful of fall, wearable fall makeup trends. Uh, I did a lot of research over the summer when all this was coming out and pin, I'm going to pin a few things to my Pinterest board. So if you want to see a whole array of fall makeup trends, you can. I just tried to uh, pull through some of the ones that I thought really spoke to me and were probably the most wearable for most people. So these are some of my favorite videos to do where I take trends or a certain idea and I dive into my own makeup collection and try and pull out what I have that would work in these situations and without having to go buy a lot of new product. And I really encourage you to do that as well when you're looking at some of the fall trends. If you're interested in pursuing them, look into your own collection first before you say, oh, I gotta go buy this. This is not really what this video is about. I will include a complete list of products that I've used today, just in case you're interested. And the only new, new product I have is something that just arrived in my P.O. box today, and it's the Vice 3 palette. However, this was something I was planning on purchasing anyway, so it wasn't like I purchased it specifically for this video. So earl the earlier parts of this video are very bright because the sun was shining really brightly. Some clouds have moved in, so actually I think that's easier to film when it's a little bit cloudy or it kind of makes my lighting a little bit more even, but, you know, we work with what we got. So the first trend that I'm going to talk about is uh, bare glowing skin. The second trend is lashes, 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 big false lashes on the top, false lashes on the bottom, um, just, you know, all over the place, just big, big lashes. And uh, then I'm going to finish up with a pop of color on your eyelids for your eye looks and this kind of wine stained uh, lip look. So the first trend I want to talk about is what they're referring to as bare glowing skin. And by bare, I don't think they mean no makeup. So uh, this is my interpretation of this. So I went ahead and applied a, just a really lovely foundation. It is the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation, and my shade is 200 Sand Beige. So there are a lot of different ways that you can add a glow, an all-over glow to your skin. Uh, you can use a, a highlighting powder. These from uh, Hourglass are very popular. This is the Ambient Light and Dim Light. Not really a personal favorite of mine, but a lot of people love these. Uh, so certainly if you're one of those, these are a great option. Uh, another way is to add some liquid luminizer to your foundation, mix it together, and then just apply your foundation. This is a trick I use a lot. I've talked about it in other videos, and um, there are tons of different liquid luminizers out on the market that you could do that with. So that's another way. But today I wanted to show a way that I haven't seen uh, talked about very much on YouTube and I read about it and tried it and really thought it worked beautifully. So the way I'm going to add a little luminous glow to my uh, foundation today is by, use, by using a combination of a face oil and a powdered, a loose powdered glowing um, a luminizing powder. And this one is from uh, Laura Mercier in the color Candlelight. So my preferred face oil to use is like the Argon oil, but I am temporarily out. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this little sample from Alginist that I received in my recent uh, Sephora package. And this is the Advanced Anti-Aging Repairing Oil. It's not perfect, but that's what I'm using. I think you can use whatever face oil you have that you like, um, but certainly like the Argon oil or the Maracuja oil from Tarte, those would work beautifully. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take a few drops of the, of the uh, face oil, put it in the palm of my hand, sprinkle in a little bit of the uh, loose luminate, uh, luminizing powder, mix them together, and pat them on my skin. So I think the amount you use is really up to you. I'm going to go ahead and rub these together and I'm just going to press it into my skin. So I, the effect 
is subtle and you don't want to be like a glow ball but you want to just have look like you're lit from within so this is a way of applying a little bit of that luminosity just to I like to just apply it here because I tend to tend to get oily through my t-zone the oil will soak into your skin and you'll let be left behind with a lovely very sheer wash of luminizing powder on your face so you can probably already see there's a lot of natural light coming in from this side. It's already picking up over here. This side's a little bit more of my regular studio lighting. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here uh, so that you can see that. So you can see a lot of natural, just the light picking up that natural glow. So the second trend I wanted to talk to you about is big lashes. Big lashes were all over the runway. They uh, were on the top or the bottom or sometimes both. So top lashes or bottom lashes or both lashes, which that's quite a lot of lash to wear. So uh, I'm really not very good at applying fat false eyelashes. So um, I did throw these on using a new technique and uh, you'll see that coming up in my Makeup Mythbusters. But, um, yeah, <laughs> false eyelashes, heavy on the lash. So one way to achieve that is obviously through applying false eyelashes. And they don't have to be, you know, big heavy lashes. They can be a smaller subtle lash so that you're more comfortable wearing it. Or you can go to a faux lash enhancing system like the one offered by Too Faced where you have some fibers you apply, and then you apply the mascara over it. This, I like the effect of this quite a bit, so I'll probably use this later on with uh, a different eye look. So the third makeup trend I'm going to talk about is using a pop of color in your eyeshadow look. And for that, I had to bust out my brand new Vice palette. Sorry, it's the Vice 3 palette. Did a little mini unboxing on Instagram, and I thought, yeah, I'm going to go there. So. I literally have not played with this or swatched half the colors, but there's some really great bright colors in here that I'm going to use, and I'm primarily going to use this column. I'm going to use these two colors on my lid, this one in the crease a little bit, and that one as a little bit of a brow bone highlight. So if you have hooded eyes, you're really lucky because Wearing a pop of color is so easy. You can put it just on your lid. It peeks out when you look down. It doesn't blast you in the face when you have your eyes wide open if you put a neutral color in the crease. There are other ways to wear a pop of color. You can uh, do a neutral eye and just line the lower lash line with a pop of color. That's super easy for any eye shape. Or you can just put a little pop of color you know, right here in the inner corner. And when I did this look, I actually put a second color in that inner corner and it really brightens it up. So what I did today was I um, used a combination of dragon and freeze on my lids. So I have dragon pretty much all over my lid and then I used freeze, the darker, you know, this bright green color to pop the inner corner of my lid. And then I uh, went into the crease with Broke Down, that's this one down here, and I just used this little light uh, color called Truth, and I put that along the, the brow line. So with a lot of bold color, you really need a liner to anchor the look. So I went ahead and I used my Urban Decay Perversion. I tight lined, and I also lined my inner rim because it is a really strong look, and applying this black liner will kind of uh, anchor it a little bit, uh, and I think it does a great job of that. And then I topped it off with uh, another option for enhancing and giving yourselves really full, full lashes, and that is using the uh, Too Faced um, Better Than False... Better Than False Lashes from Too Faced. This system, mine's a little on the edge of drying up, so I'll probably be picking this up again or trying a new fiber lash mascara, I'm not sure. But any fiber lash mascara is gonna really enhance your lashes quite a bit. 
and uh, give you that almost false lash look if you're like me and you really are not that good at applying false lashes. So, uh, I particularly like that with this really bold eye. I'm not sure I would want to put false lashes with this really bold eye because it just might be a little too much. So the last makeup trend I want to talk about in this video is what they're calling a wine stained lip. So for that I think you can reach into your collection and take any wine colored lipstick and just kind of blot it down and sheer it out a little bit to give you that little wine stained lip. So the one thing when you're using a really dark lipstick is you really want to make sure you exfoliate your lips really well. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. This is brand new to me and I'm giving it a try. It has little stuff built in. Um, it's pretty scratchy, but it does a good job. It does a good job. It's super easy. And it has kind of a sweet taste to it. So for my wine stained lip, I'm going to reach into my collection and pull out this NYX Butter Lipstick in the shade Licorice. And it looks really dark. And then I'm going to blot it down a little bit. Kind of mattifies it and gives it more of a stained look to the lipstick. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know below which trend you are most excited to try yourself. So if you're new to my channel and you were just stopping by for the first time, I hope you'll hit the subscribe button and join me for future videos. And also check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to check out uh, some of the other uh, trend articles that I posted over on my Pinterest account. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you real soon. Bye.